This is a graph showing the cutting speed of two stones, a King 1000 and a Suihiro Ryu 300 grit stone under three different pressures, 10, 20, and 30 psi. The cutting speed was determined by the amount of passes to apex a basic carbon steel chisel. So the apex of the chisel would be cut back, then the chisel would basically be brought until it was a true apex and it's repeated a bunch of times at different pressures with two stones. Now, uh, don't get too excited about the fact that it's linear. Any three random points, 50% of the time will be linear. And don't get excited about the fact that the slopes are almost identical. Again, this is three points. There's a lot of scatter. I wouldn't really pay a lot of attention to this at this point. I am going to put at least two more data points on that. And five points at least gives you an idea of whether or not you're seeing a linear effect. And if the slopes are consistent at five points, well, then you might have something interesting to look at. So, why am I putting this up already? Well, there's something very interesting going on here. Let's see if you can figure out what it is. The King 1000 is an older generation Japanese stone. It has a resin bond, relatively weak, and breaks down very fast. 10 PSI is very high pressure for the King 1000. The Suihiru Ryu is what they call a ceramic stone, which generally I think refers to the binder. All the abrasives are ceramic. It's one of those weird labels that people attach on the stuff that really doesn't have a lot of meaning. It's like when they say surgical stainless, just because it tends to be used in surgical steels for instruments, I guess. So, now, if you look at the cutting speed, the cutting speed of the Ryu is around 40 to 45 percent faster, and it's consistent over all three pressures. You would expect that it's a more coarse stone, but would you expect only 40 to 45 percent? It's three times as coarse. So, on a just a naive sort of assumption, wouldn't you expect a cutting speed to roughly be about triple? It's not, and again, it's very consistent. Now, the reason why I figured out after doing a bunch of other experiments, and it's rather interesting, and it has a lot of implications for what people think is happening when they're using these stones and what actually is happening. So the challenge is to figure out how come the Ryu is only 40 to 45 percent faster when it's three times its course and it's consistent from 10 to 30 psi. As again, as with all challenges, uh, you can ask questions, see if you can figure out uh, what's going on. So it's rather interesting and good luck.